say they could be forced to go their separate ways because of the proposed redevelopment of Elephant and Castle Shopping Centre. Dozens of Latin American traders have worked there for decades, but now the future's uncertain, as Thomas McGill explains. It's been almost half of my life in here. It's the busiest day of the week for Lucy. She's been cutting hair here at the Elephant and Castle shopping centre for the last 25 years. But now she fears her livelihood and way of life is under threat. It's like a family now. It's uh, the community all together. This is the place I start and the place all my friends, my clients I made for all this year. And she's not alone. There's over 100 other Latin American traders in the area. But what made you guys come here then all those years ago? Well, it was a very cheap place to invest. And that's but that could change if new plans to redevelop the space gets the go-ahead. One of the things that the planning application does not cover is, um, by policy, there should be 10% of retail space in, in, in big developments um, that should come at affordable, um, as affordable units. That is not included in the planning application. Well, love it or hate it, there's no doubt the Elephant and Castle shopping centre is a local landmark. But look around, there's unprecedented change happening. There's tar blocks popping up all over the place. And now the owners of this key site want to do the same. They want to build this, a thousand new homes, a cultural centre, a new university campus and retail units. In a statement, the owners Delancey say retaining local and specialist retailers is key to our ambition to support the diverse vibrancy of the area. The shopping centre has had many makeovers, extensions and even a change of colour. But now after 52 years, its owners feel the time's come for a complete restyle. Thomas McGill, BBC London News. OK, now the weather for the forecast for the start of the week.